We just got another one of those phone calls today, yesterday. Kind of phone calls. of Pesach to come. Adonai, 
and God has become my deliverance. On this Shabbat Hagadol, the great Sabbath before Pesach, we pray for God to strengthen our whole world as we continue to fight the plague that has ravaged us. We pray for all the healers of the world to find strength to continue to help those in need. We pray for the violence that has beset our country through the terrible murders committed in Boulder, Colorado to be no more. O oh God, on this Shabbat, instill in our lawmakers and leaders the strength and might to overcome the divisions that prevent us from protecting the people of our land. There is so much to pray for, and that is why we come here to you. Most Holy One of all blessings, enter our room with us tonight and be with us on this great Shabbat, Shabbat HaGadol. Help us to bring the light of your goodness into our hearts and homes as we light our Shabbat candles together. I hope that some of you have um, your beautiful candles available to, um, to light. Mm -hmm. And so please join, join me in the blessing. Accept thy people's prayer, strengthen us, cleanse us. Almighty Adonai, guard us as the apple of the eye of those who seek thee. Go. 
to worship if you are comfortable to do so. Center night passes through, gates open, seasons change, stars swirl on their eternal pathways through the light. Light to dark to light spins the glorious heavenly array. This too is the name of yud he vav -He Adonai, living and eternal until the end of time. A fountain of blessing are you, endless one, blends the light of evening. Baruch atah Adonai HaMaharif HaRavim Barach Olam Bet Yisrael Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. 
אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך ובדרך ושוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם גדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אמת! It is the truth and even one of our kiddies is saying that That is the great Cantor Lewandowski The great Cantor Lewandowski Otherwise known as Red Chief Yes! Emet, these things are true. You are our God and guide and no other. And we are Yisrael, your people, who wonders you do. As we stand on the shore of the Red Sea, the waters part before our very eyes. We join with Miriam and Moshe to sing our song of joy to you. Micha mocha baili maronai, Micha mocha nedar bakodesh, no ratahi lot o sefele Adonai yim loch leolam ba'ed Ashiveinu ya Eloheinu for God's protection, that the Holy One will spread over us all the wings of peace, comfort, and safety. Amen. Amen. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel, for in six days Adonai made heaven and earth and on the seventh day, God ceased from work and was refreshed. We rise now, if you are comfortable, for our tefillah. Adonai, Shabbat Adifta, Ufi Agita Hilateka. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe avoteinu, v'himoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sahara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hadibur, Hanorah, 
May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Adonai Mikadesh HaShabbat Oh, oh, oh. 
now come to a time in our service where we think of those who are ill of body, mind, or spirit. And I know so many of us have had the COVID-19 vaccinations, not everyone, but it's, it's happening and it's wonderful. And yet there are still many, many people in our world, our country that are ill from it, some even continuing to die. and. We, we must continue to be vigilant and do all that we can so that we can enjoy the beauty of freedom that our holiday promises us coming up. So tonight, please take within your heart all those who are sick throughout our world and most especially these beloveds, Sharon Arnold, Bob Ashendorf, Joel Askenazi, Bill Baer, Henry Botuck, Karen Chambly, Chamblis, Stacy Eastwood, Eve Alfasi, Deborah Goldstein, Nicole Greenblatt, Celia Grossman, Erwin Hale, Glenda Heller, David Kay, Evelyn Crane, Robert Crayling, Diana Landau, Lori Licker, Nancy McGinley, Hilary Miles, Matthew Murin, Rika and Vladimiro Pienek. Nettie Pogash, Stuart Rossinger, Pam Siegel, Patty Siegel, Kelsey Sieber, Jessica Smith and Scott Smith, Erin Jane Spear, the Tauber family, Sarah Jane Victor, Arthur Weinberger and Jody Wellner. If there are other names of loved ones that you are uh, praying for their well-being tonight, please call out their names and um, we will include them in our prayers. Debbie Weisskopf. Debbie Weisskopf. <laughs> okay, Oy. dear friends. And so we pray for Rafur Shalema for all of our beloveds. And the cantor will chant a beautiful Misha Berak for all of you.
There are so many things to celebrate tonight. As I mentioned at the beginning of our service, tonight is Shabbat HaGadol, the great Sabbath before Pesach. And there are various explanations for why we call it Shabbat HaGadol. The one that resonates with me stems from the last line of the Haftarah for this Shabbat. It's from the prophet Malachi. And in this final verse, the prophet says, Behold, I will send you Eliyahu the prophet, Elijah the prophet, before the coming of the great and awesome day of Adonai. It is a day that precedes the great festival of freedom. And just as we take freedom, the freedom of rest on Shabbat, we move into the defining story of our people, the exodus from Egypt. Tonight we also celebrate the Torah portion for the Shabbat called Tzav, which means command. We're in the book of Leviticus, often referred to as the heart of our Torah, and we are commanded to be a kingdom of priests, a holy people. We are to take the responsibility for the holiness in our world, and that's a big order. We're commanded to be healers. Oh yes, God is referring to the ancient priests of old that are referred to here in our Torah. But I believe that God is instructing all of us, the priests within each of us. Salve begins the teachings of how to keep a perpetual fire burning on the altar. Morning, noon, and night, we are to keep the flame alive. This past week, our congregation suffered the loss of one of its great matriarchs, Lois Katzen. My thoughts and heart are filled with her tonight. So I would like to share with you the ways that I thought Lois kept the flame alive, burning brightly for everyone to see. She will be our teacher tonight for she was a wise woman and shared her wisdom with so many through the teachings that she did all throughout her life. Her fire burned continually throughout her many days and she focused on today, not tomorrow or yesterday, but today. Each day was a bliss of growth, a glory of action, the splendor of beauty as she learned, taught, volunteered her time and love to so many projects, to so many people. So what sparks the fire? Each of us must find the way to provide the spark. And what is the fuel for the fire? The Torah teaches us that the ashes to be removed are to be removed every day. The fire cannot burn clean and pure if there are dead ashes in the pit, the waste of the past. It's allowed to accumulate within you. Each morning when you greet the dawn with Mode Ani, you must remove that which has held you back the day before, those burned up ashes, and break into the new day with your fire burning brightly. This is how the Torah portion for this week spoke to me. Each time I, I study Torah each week, as the year passes and I think of what I wrote last year and what I shared with you last year, each, each year it's different and there's a different teaching that comes forth from our Torah portion for me. So for you I ask, what does the flame in your heart speak to you on this night of Shabbat HaGadol? How will you walk the path of freedom over the next 50 days till we reach Sinai and receive the gift of God's grace, the Ten Commandments? I invite you to journey with me through the Omer, the counting of the days, and see if it will help you stoke the flames in your heart. Each night beginning Sunday night, I will email out a special reading or meditation to help you on the journey of counting. I look forward to sharing this with you every year, this year more than ever, 
as we begin to shed a year of confinement and death and embrace a new year of expansion and life. May God be our guide on this journey, walking beside us, carrying us if, if we need to be carried until we reach that promised land. Can you hear us soon? May it be God's will. Behold, I will send you Eliyahu the prophet before the coming of the great and awesome day of Adonai. Hinei sholeach lachem et Eliyahu hanavi livne bo yom Hashem hagadol vehanora. And God will turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the heart of the children to their parents. And may we say, Amen. Amen. And now, dear friends, we will continue with our concluding prayers, the Alenu. And if you are comfortable, once again, please rise. The rabbi rises for me. I have old legs. Alenu lo shveach la Adon hakol latet gedula liotzeh breshit shelo asanu ke goyeh ratzot velo hosamanu ki mishkod hadama shelo sam kelkenu kaim vagar alenu tochol hamonam. Vahanachnu korim umisakavim umodim lifne melek malke hamlakim akadosh baruchu v'nemar v'hayadonai lemelek al kol ha. now turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race 
a nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. To the living, death is a wound. Its name is grief. Its companion is loneliness. Whenever it comes, whatever its guise, even when there are no tears, death is a wound. But death belongs to life. As night belongs to day, as darkness belongs to light, as shadows belongs to substance as the fallen leaf to the tree, as time to eternity, so death belongs to life. It is not our purpose to live forever. It is only our purpose to live. It is no added merit that life is long. It is of merit only that we make life good. Beautiful words written by Rabbi Alvin Fine. And so tonight we take within our hearts, during the period of Shiloshim, the first 30 days of mourning, our beloved Lois Katzen, friend of Linda Wilson, and friend to all of Temple Israel of the Lord. And the cousin of Wendy Wagner, Ray Bonfield. And we, we also remember tonight the Yurtzeit, the remembrance each year of our beloved Samuel Bernberg, Sue Hausbach Brendel, David Davis, Joseph Goldman, Jacob Gross, Ernest Haar, Ari Huss, Louis Kenner, Sonia Malachowski, Pearl Noble, Howard Ott, Eugene Rossinger, Ruth Satt, Marion Sales, Martin Stokler, Ben Victor. If there are other names of loved ones you'd like to share with us tonight, please do. Jack Bosch's Harvey's first cousin passed away yesterday. Oh, our deepest condolences. So sorry. Anyone else? Yes, Stuart? Harriet Cantrell. Harriet Cantrell. Zikra Namli Racha, we take all of them in to our hearts for blessing. And so let us join together in our mourner's Kaddish. It is a praise of God. We need to expand God in the world when our losses are so great. So for those of you who are comfortable, please rise and join us. Yitkadal ve yitkadal shemei raba Be'al ma divara chirutei v'yam lich ma'chutei V'chayechon u'v'yom echon U'v'chaye d'kol beit Yisrael V'agala u'v'zman kari v'imru amen Yehe shemera bamavarach, lea lamul alme al maya. Yit barach, the yishtabach, the yit baar, the yit romam, the yit nase, the yit adar, the yit ale, the yit alal, shemade kudisha, burihu. Le ela min kol berhata, vishirata, tush berhata, venechamata, damiran bealma, the im ruamen. Yehe shalama raba min shamaya, the chayim alenu ve al koyesayel, the im rua main. O se shalom bim roma, hu ya a se shalom, alenu ve al koyesayel, the im rua main.
who should appear but a kitty. Little chap. To comfort us. By the way, it was Eddie who pulled the holocover cover off the holo. Eddie pulled the holocover cover off the holo. He reached up, holo. snagged it, and pulled it down. Oh, my God. Well, well, we're just going to, this is our biggest kitty. This is Oliver. We call him Little Chap. And um, when it gets dark out, we make sure all the cats are in. And tonight, they were all howling <laughs> up the surface. So our apologies. But this is what happens when you own cats. When they're members of your family. Oliver showed up at Jenny's uh what do you, where do the kids live in school in, in, in her dormitory oh right right when he she went to box. college he was in a box and he was teeny little thing and <laughs> so they ran, held it they run ran him from room to room and hid him <laughs> and and finally she brought him home and of course we get we inherited him. We inherited him. <laughs> so I, I want to thank my beloved tonight for a beautiful service and his beautiful singing and all the kitties who joined in singing as well. And I want to thank, of course, my, my darling Wendy, uh, who I know is, is grieving tonight. And despite all that, she was she provided all the, the slides for us and, and technically helped with everything. So thank you so much, Wendy, for doing that for us. So I hope that you all have a little cup of schnapps. Can I have one too? And here's one for you. Thank you. So Cantor, it's, lead us. It's uh, Shabbat Hagadol, so it's important that we know that tonight, everybody sit back, we sing the very, very long, very complicated Mesopotamian uh, Kiddush. So this will take a few minutes. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pariagavein Amen L'chaim! L'chaim! Kanter Lewandowski has arrived. It's too, okay. it, it's too late for the Katsi Kaddish. All right, here is our challah. And everybody keeps asking me, where do I get this challah? Well, I get, I have a standing order at Publix. <laughs> they only and make I, one. And I, may, I ask for the raisin challah, and I order it. So that's where you can get raisin challah. And it's it's absolutely beautiful, and um, and we love it. So here we go. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Eloheinu Olam. Amen. Oh, yummy. Mm. Oh, boy. Okay. And of course, um, we're going to have to use this up tomorrow morning with French toast and then get the rest of the chametz out of the house before, before we have... Wait a minute. There you go. Before we have so um, a big hummus sitting on the chair behind her. Passover. <laughs> so we hope that uh, I know that some of you are joining us for the Zader on Sunday night, and we really are excited about it. So we're going to give a give us a little send off with a little Dianu. So please join us at home. Clap along, whatever you feel comfortable doing. <laughs> Whoopsie, <laughs> 
Nathan Laru, Nathan Laru, with a shabbat, Nathan Laru, with a shabbat, a yenu, Gaga yenu, Gaga yenu, Gaga yenu, Chag Sameach Pesach, have a wonderful, joyous Shabbat and continue the celebration tomorrow night with our first Seder. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Class. <laughs>